Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. This old Monte Carlo, Rich. It's old like me, huh? Anyway, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, last year, low mileage, black Monte Carlo Supersport, we already have collector car status. In that sentence, I'm gonna walk around the car, I'm gonna show you why I feel like this right could be added to either your first car of your car collection or just a cool car to have in your life or something you wanna preserve for your family for the rest of their lives. Starts out just like this and here is why. So we're talking circa 1988 of this car. It's 2019, we're doing this car is 30 years old. I'd like you to think about uh, how little it's been driven, the, the, the preserved nature that it's in, the spectacular condition, the fact that it continues to go up in value is why I love this hobby so much, right? And when you have cars that are so well taken care of and preserved, they drive just as beautifully, believe it or not, as they did back then. I tried to buy one of these cars in the early 80s when this car first came out. I loved it. It was great looking. It had a great little rumble to it. it had an overdrive automatic, plus a lot of modern accoutrements like power steering and power disc brakes, a lot of things that the muscle cars that we forget to ask about don't come with. This car was kind of a muscle car at its time, and it scoots down the road. But unfortunately, uh, my job was, my first job was a little, uh, it wasn't paying enough, and I didn't qualify for the car. Hence, this is why I try to fill my void with all these cars, because of my pain and suffering for so many years of not getting what I wanted. <laughs> I'm still in therapy. I hope you guys will visit me at the therapist, and we'll all work through this together. But for right now, this is my therapy. I'm hoping this video is therapeutic to you. Let's get started talking about the car, and enough about me. Let's talk about you and how you love this car. Come on up and let's check the paint quality on here. This is great black paint. I mean, serious, look at this. Every letter crystal clear, every letter crystal clear and detailed and what have you. I love the stripes. I love the big wheels and tires. It's got the big BFGs all the way around. This car is fabulous. Let's take a look under the hood because it's so original. All of the little stickers and decals are there. I think you're really gonna like it. All right, let's take a peek under here. All right, this is what I love about original cars. For instance, this is the original uh, emissions decal in here. Uh, the AC decals, the uh, power brake booster original code, and the reason those codes are on there is so in case there was a recall, right, on a, on a failed part, especially of that magnitude, they would know what uh, run numbers it was and what have you. If I was going to fault the car for anything around it, anything on the car at all, I'd fault it for the hood pad. The hood pad is original, it's still very nice. We can order a brand new one if you'd like and it would really dress up the engine compartment, but the car is very original and I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, I think it's best to tell all the good and the bad of a car. Everybody else might say, wow, this car is the most spectacular car I've ever seen. It is a spectacular car and probably the nicest one we've ever had. This, if I'm faulting it, would be it. Other than that, it's nicely preserved underneath the hood. Uh, the emissions stuff is still on there too, so if you went to a show and you needed to get judged or what have you, all of the stuff is there so that you can uh, move forward and get your trophy. All right, so part of the styling here is you got that great sounding dual exhaust. This is a nice call out and a nice piece. This rear lip spoiler, a lot of this stuff is built for NASCAR, right? They had to build, they had to sell them to build them. I mean, they had to build them, sell them, and then they could race them, all right? I always love the fact that I get a car with a car cover. That means that somebody not only garaged the car, but they covered it in the garage with that. You know that serious love and that somebody totally cared about that. All right, look how beautiful everything's preserved. The original spare tire is still in there. This is a very important piece right here. This is the modern day build sheet. 
This right here has all the codes of the car. It'll tell you how the car came down the assembly line. And as this car came down the assembly line, people would pull the parts off of the racks, assemble the car with those pieces that go on there, and assemble this, and that's how you got it, and that matches the car just the way it sits. All right, so the build sheet's here, right here, with the factory codes on there, and that's the way they would have built the car. They would have gone down the assembly line, they would have had this in their hand, or taped onto the car, and they would have pulled the pieces off of the racks, assembled everything the way it says right here, and that's the way this car is built as well. All right, so come join me inside here for a minute, because if you're going to drive this car, you're going to want to spend some time in here, because it's actually really, really nice. The gauge setup is fabulous. Uh, some of the earlier cars have 85 mile an hour speedometers because that was the, the law back there in 1985 and 86, depending on the crossover time. This right here has 115 mile an hour speedometer and a 6,000 uh, RPM tack. It's uh, uh, definitely, I've heard that it will go over 115 miles an hour. I couldn't personally know that, and nor could I endorse the fact of me saying that you should try that out and verify it. It's just what I've heard. It's on the interwebs, as they say, all right? Power windows, power locks, tilt wheel, cruise control, the upgraded sound system that's in here, buckets, console. This is a really, really nice driving car. When you drive this car, the AC works the way it's supposed to. All the luxury stuff works the way it's supposed to. And it just kind of fits you just right uh, as you're wheeling on down there. Here's how you know some of the things are authentic in the car. We've looked at a lot of the little stuff, like this thing here. This is a uh, key and buzzer. It says the, the lights are still on, right? Which is annoying. Uh, sorry, headlight, headlamp on buzzer. Uh, and that's it. So if I, if I say to myself, I want to go to, to the beach or I want to go uh, to the mountains for the weekend, this is the kind of car you want to take because it's got a nice rumble and it rides really, really nice. All right, so we close up this modern day muscle car. We talk about low mileage, right? Last year of its kind, right there, collector car status. Forget all that. The, forget the fact that it's continuing to go up in value each year according to uh, many of the, uh, the resources that are available out there. It's a great driving car. It's got the upgraded rear end in this car with the overdrive automatic, and it scoots on down the road. I heard that it will chirp second gear. I just heard that. I'm not really sure of that, but I have heard that, all right? So my thoughts to you are this. Find a way, get this car in your life, enjoy it, have some fun, man. It's not super expensive yet. Someday it's gonna be super expensive and you're gonna kick yourself for not doing it. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 88 Monte Carlo SS. And don't forget to tell me about your experiences that you've had in these cars. Maybe you had a Model J muscle car. Maybe you got to ride around in one of these. Maybe you have a friend or whatever. Throw some comments down below. And don't forget to click on the link uh, below as well and check out the website, check out the pictures of the car and the description.